Okay, so let's start by uh, drawing uh, the eye, a more realistic eye, this time probably not uh, an eye that you would use probably for a fashion illustration, but you can still use the same. Uh, uh, you can use this technique too. And this time it's slightly different. Uh, uh, it's probably not as simple as uh, the previous video that I had. Uh, do check on uh, how to draw a fashion eye. Uh, in of my uh, previous video but this again still is a very simple technique and it starts off with simple basics so um, so first thing that you need to do is to draw uh, uh, a line that is probably a, a, a diagonal line so it's I'm just drawing it very faintly I hope you can see it or it just probably darken it and then erase it off later for you guys to uh, understand what's the angle that you require so if that's uh, the uh, a straight line that's the angle in which you're trying to draw the eye and you can always draw the eye in a straight fashion you can draw it in an angle you can even draw it at a uh, different angle that makes it all the more uh, stylized but uh, let's let's keep this angle for now and uh, let me erase off this line uh, that is beneath it lighten this line so that uh, uh, the rest of the drawing that we draw uh, becomes more visible in comparison to this uh, line. So uh, here what you do is draw the first part of the eye and that's like probably one third of the eye you draw it in a curve like that and then the next you draw uh, uh, the other curve of the eye and then uh, the bottom part of the eye. Now the bottom part of the eye is just one smooth curve. Now, obviously, uh, smooth it off. You can use it as your basic uh, line reference. Most of the, uh, uh, you know, the waviness, etc., will all get hidden in the shading, etc. So don't worry so much about it. And then you start to draw the eyeball. Now, what you have to remember when you're drawing the eyeball is that it's it's one whole, uh, you know, it's, it's it's a spherical shape that you. You draw there, and uh, it's, it's it's a full round that you draw. So uh, make sure that you understand the shape, the eye, the eyeball is sitting in in a uh, you know uh, in, as a round there, and that you need to draw. And then you draw the the center of the eyeball again. Draw that as a round that is. Uh, uh, sinking alongside with uh, the rest of the eyeball and then you kind of erase off all the unnecessary uh, lines that is formed uh, kind of get the shape exactly the way you want and so that's that's how the shape of the eye uh, needs to be now uh, I prefer working uh, with uh, uh, you know especially when I'm doing most of my illustration in Autodesk uh, sketchbook because I somehow find uh, the simplicity of the software, uh, you know, uh, very, very, very powerful, and it, it helps me uh, uh, create the drawings that I'm doing in the most efficient uh, manner. Uh, but then there are times where I use uh, Adobe Photoshop also, and Adobe Photoshop obviously I use it for larger illustrations, for rendering of fabrics for uh, coloring of the garments with, with probably in different mediums and different styles. But uh, generally when I'm doing loose sketches, uh, I use uh, Autodesk Sketchbook Pro and I just love the, the basic brushes that has been given uh, by uh, Sketchbook Pro. You can obviously uh, load other sketches. I'll probably cover other brushes. Probably I'll cover uh, another time and the, how that needs to be done. So yeah, so coming back to this, so that's your basic shape of the eye. Now let's start building the other layers of the eye. So now if you really look at uh, a more realistic version of the eye, there is uh, an eyelid, there is an area for the eyelid that comes across uh, the eye. I mean it's the, the eyelashes doesn't sit on this line, it actually sits here. So uh, you have to draw that and then you draw this for uh, the area where you kind of define where the, uh, uh, you know, uh, the edge of the eye is and define the shape of the eye better and then we can take off this or we can kind of you know tone it down or we can erase it off we don't require this anymore and before we take it off completely you need to uh, realize that uh, the the fold of the eye you know forms alongside that so get that 
shape there for you to understand how the fold of the eye needs to happen. So that's basically the rough shape of the eye. Now from here we'll start building the different layers of how we want to uh, draw the eye. So uh, start giving uh, the eyeball the, the shades. Now you don't have to be very meticulous about it. Just, just randomly shade it. Uh, and from there you can start building uh, you know, the eye and then start giving it a little more, more depth to the, uh, to the upper eyelid and give it more shade. Let the shade fall into the eye. So that kind of gives it like an effect of a shadow, you know, and uh, then pull it down. So that's, that's how we do it. And from here, you can start drawing the eyelashes. Now eyelashes, always remember the eyelashes do draw in a straight line. So it's all curved line. So you can see the, the stroke, how I'm doing it. It's, it's curved, it, it kind of bends through uh, and it, it, it forms the uh, you know, eyelashes. And they're not always uh, of the same length. So don't ever make the mistake of trying to draw them of the same length. It's thicker towards the bottom and uh, uh, it kind of starts to thin down towards the uh, top. So uh, uh, I mean, I shuffle between uh, uh, using a uh, you know airbrush and then uh, I kind of touch it on top of it with uh, you know the pencil. Uh, same way now for the bottom eyelashes, uh, you you don't uh, draw it from you draw it from the bottom lid. And don't try to draw, you know, full eyelashes over here because most of the times you don't see it completely. It's just suggestions of uh, the eyelashes, and just build that, and then just give it a gentle shading, and then the rest of it will start coming through. So these are all just suggestions of how you want, uh, you know, uh, the the shading of the eye to happen. Now we start shading the inner part of the eye, and start giving a little bit more three-dimensional shape to the uh, to the eyeball so you start shading at the bottom of the uh, the eyeball and uh, as you can see it slowly starts giving it uh, a more three-dimensional uh, effect so so that's 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 really nice to do that because that kind of gives a very good quality of, uh, of realism to the uh, to the eye. And then once I've done that, I start building more shade on top of the eye eyelid. So that's where uh, probably if there is an eye shadow, if, uh, uh, if there's makeup done there, if there's no makeup, you can probably uh, kind of you know build upon the eyelashes. And uh, otherwise, but it's, it's always when you're uh, drawing to kind of give it a shade, a little bit of shade over there, and that kind of gives it a very nice uh, appeal to it. And then once I've done that again, I build upon uh, the eyelashes. Uh, so uh, it, it, it needs to kind of, you know, turn through, as you can see. So that kind of gives it a very nice uh, uh, feel to it. So yeah, and then I start uh, giving it more shade to the uh, to the eyelid. So you could you could erase all, all those lines that was there before. But I, I sometimes I just keep it because that kind of gives it a very nice uh, artistic uh, quality to it. Uh, but you can of course uh, take them off and uh, work with it. Like say for example these. You could just gently erase off those lines and then you can again build the shade uh, from there. So, so this is the, the basic way in which you can start shading uh, the, the eye through and then from there you start planning off how you want the, the eyebrows uh, to come. So uh, generally what I do is I kind of plan off the, the area Give it a gentle shading. Now this is something that you could outline with a pencil if you're doing it with pencil on paper, and then you can kind of you know just smudge it through, 
and uh, uh, it doesn't come in all the way till there, so that's why I'm sensitive. Erasing it, I will um, delete it off and I will draw it again. So it's, it's, it's at an angle, so, uh, so you kind of take it from there and then fade it off. And then here, again, I use the, uh, the brush, the airbrush, and start drawing the, the eyebrows. Now, if you see the way I'm drawing the, uh, the eyebrows is that I start changing the orientation of the, uh, the hair on the eyebrows and I start kind of, you know, fading it through towards the bottom uh, or towards the end of it. And it starts off more on a, a vertical and then slowly, gently starts angling into a, a, a more horizontal uh, shape. And then I start layering on top of it. Now, it's, it's always a good practice to kind of uh, uh, add uh, probably, uh, you know, maybe I, what I used to do was with pencils, if I'm doing, I kind of touch it with, uh, you know, white uh, uh, color pencils to kind of make the edges of the hair, uh, you know, uh, look uh, more sharper. Uh, so, uh, and also the gaps between the hair uh, to kind of, you know, make it look uh, you know, nicer and then uh, again come back to choosing black but this time I go to the bottom so that the lines kind of fade to the bottom. So this way you, you really are able to, to get a, a, a pretty nice realistic appeal uh, to the uh, eyebrow and in between you can add some darker lines because the lines that are the hair that overlaps uh, the, the hair kind of gives it a, a more uh, deeper feel to that now i start building the rest of the the shading and i start adding a little bit more color to the drawing now very gently you can obviously choose what's the skin tone that you want to build for the drawing. So yeah, you should start shading it through like that. I start adding a little bit more uh, details that kind of defines the uh, bottom layer of the eye and uh, make sure that the, those lines that I have there that is not so prominent and it's, it's sit within it is sitting as a shade over there and also the the, the important thing is when you gently shade the bottom of the eye also it kind of gives it a, a slightly 3d feel to the uh, to the eye so you have to remember the eye is is a is a it's a, it's a round spherical shape so when you give this it starts giving it a more 3d appeal to it now this line that is there inside you could uh, erase it off now you can see that's uh, probably if i erased it off earlier on uh, it would have uh, helped but I kept it on so that you understand from where we started off. When you are doing the sketch, probably it's a good practice to, uh, to take off all those lines. Uh, again, uh, I will continue with the shading. So there, I just bring in a little bit of shade to the inside of the eye and a little bit of color to the inside of the eye because generally you, it's, not, it's not totally uh, uh, white. You could make it extremely realistic by adding uh, some color to the veins that you might even see inside the eye. I mean, these are all things which, uh, if you're trying to draw a very hyper-realistic eye, you would find uh, people doing. Okay, now uh, I would add some color to the inside of the uh, eye to kind of give it a little bit more 
nicer, a beautiful blue eye uh, feel to it. So I again just gently shade uh, a slight blue to it. Now I start taking uh, different tones of blue and choose a very thin uh, brush size and I kind of wave over my hand I, as I start drawing the line. So it kind of gives those patterns that you see inside the eye. So I now work with a darker color. And then bring out different shades to it. So it's never flat you know, if you really look at the the shading of the eye. I mean, there's so much happening to the inside of the eye and it's always nice to spend a little bit of time there because that's that's where, uh, uh, you know, the focus uh, goes to when you start looking uh, at the drawing. And, and most often that's something that people rush and, you know, don't take too much of care in terms of, uh, you know, shading. But if you, if you were to spend a little bit more time in, the, in those areas, you would start finding that it starts giving a, a very realistic appeal to your uh, eye. Now, to add the highlights, you could, uh, you know, there are different ways in which different people, uh, you know, add highlights, but I just generally work with, uh, you know, uh, as I feel in many ways. Uh, but, uh, but make sure that you, you show where the light is hitting the eye. Now we will start shading the rest of the other areas. Uh, give it a little bit of a shine on top of the uh, eye. So as you can see, you start building it from there. That's, that's a little bit of, it's looking a little dark over there. Start taking shades of the skin tone and start building on top of it. bit of shade to the inside of the eye there and then uh, give a little bit of color so this is more about uh, when you start building uh, the shape there. So, so as you can see, it looks uh, pretty nice and realistic. Uh, of course, there are other ways to uh, make it much more hyper realistic. Uh, but uh, this is another technique. Uh, keep following the channel and uh, watch more videos as it comes by. And I will show you more uh, different techniques of how uh, to draw not just the eyes, but the lips, the nose, the entire face, and how to draw the body, and uh, how to render uh, illustrations with different types of fabrics. So uh, uh, keep uh, following the, uh, the channel and subscribe to it. And I will see you again in the uh, next video. Thank you.